the way I wore a sari, the girls can also has to wear the, the way she wear it. See, now the sari has a different uh, faces. Now you wearing it with a shirt, you don't want to show your tummy and you're very comfortable and it's not very fitted. And same, the, the Vidya is wearing a different kind of style. So I think experimenting is much more needed, no terms of wearing style, also the kind of the material. So that is the reason we also explore different aspect of the sari, let's say, we have worked about different kind of blouses, different kind of fitted. Fits also, earlier was this only sexy was they were the backless. We also made, I think, I would say that in that there was a completely high back and also completely covered and the loose sleeves. We also experimented with the petticoat. We had a printed petticoat. I think one of the girl is wearing here. So like printed petticoat and then wear a chanderi, it says beautifully. So that was A. And B also is very realistic, you know, if the sari didn't work less than three decades, what was the reason? And be realistic, there must be some reason that why it didn't work. I'm sure there were some problems. So I really think as a designer, there was some issues in terms of the drape, in terms of the design, in some terms of the quality, washing, and many more things. I really thought that a lot of young girls had a problem of drape. They didn't want it to, uh, a lot of experienced people are okay to wear a star sari, but not these young girls because they don't wear sari 365 days and they don't have time, They sometimes they only wear sari twice, so they wanted sari something which is very soft and drapey. So we started washing our saris before handing or selling to the sari, you know. So we wash every sari after the production. At the same time, we also simplified our design, not it's, it's a, what you wear is a communication to yourself. So not everyone wants something very busy pattern or all over pattern or a check sari or not check a sari. So we had created a lot of color block, simplified design. We have also created new kind of jerry, silver jerry, gold jerry. So all I'm trying to say, we need had to be a little open out to it. Like what you're wearing is also very simplified. It inspired Dhoti, in fact. So it's called a Dhoti sari. Not every sari has to be decorated or has to, you know. In fact, when we were coming here, yeah. I never put the fall on my sari. Somehow yeah. I thought it was absolutely useless. I mean, I just never understood the sari, you, the way you stretch it, the side, the pallu, whatever, it seems to balance it out and falls. It's the gravity, it falls. So I never found a reason to put the fall. And he was trying to explain to me, <laughs> yeah. so I would love you to hear it from his. So, well, fall is English word, first of all. And fall means fall, like so it's for a draper, uh, better fall. I really think sari is designed in a way, the handloom sari, that you never needed a fall. The, the border of the sari plays to, you know, there are more yarns than the body. So it has a certain weight which helps to drape the sari better. So there is a fall in it and there's a salvage also. So salvage also takes care of wear and tear. It is more thicker than the body. Even the pallu also has a certain design. Have you ever thought why the pallu has a design? Because it's a certain weight. It's a certain, uh, when you put it back, so it stays at the back actually. So what happened with the chiffon sari, it didn't have, it, did, it didn't design in India. So simply someone bought a yardage and wore it as a sari, like Gayati Devi or some, that generation. So they needed it to fall. So fall was an extra addition.